Steve here from Showrooms Online and we're in Bramshill Meadows by St Modwin Homes and we're here to see this house type here. This is the main house type. Now how beautiful does it look? You've got that beautiful stonework and that crisp white render and that little balcony as well. Oh, let's go and take a look. Hello Emma. Hello. Welcome to the main house type and this is on Bramshill Meadows which is just outside Utoxeter. I was going to say it's Maine with a Y. And we're here with some Modwin Homes. We are, yes. Now this is a nice treat. This is a nice design from the outside. Doesn't it look fab? I, this feels big. I'm not. Even, I'm just in the hallway. What a gorgeous house. Um, we are reverse to plan. So how many bedrooms? Four. Four. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Bit of a surprise upstairs, I think. Is that? Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Let's start this way then, into the okay. study. We've got a nice big L-shaped hallway here. Yeah? I mean, I'm just look how big that is there, mate. Mm. Allow me to just come back. So just check that out. That is a big hallway. Very nice. Study. Oh, wait, dear. Ooh, three big. meters twelve by three meters twenty-three. Yes. Cute little chair. So it's listed as a study. It could be a snug. Certainly could be an office, could be a playroom. Or a bedroom. Absolutely. Many, many uses for it. I like that room. And you've got a fairly big window there as well. Yeah. God, that's quite it a big window. It does feel very light, this yeah. space. Got the, nice front door, actually. Yeah. I mean... These are some seriously contemporary original designs, aren't they? Yeah. It's a really lovely housing development. Yeah, I mean, just look, you've got a bit of, you know, you've got that composite boarding, you've got um, a stonework. Yeah. I like the shutters on the window yeah. as well. Well, they're, bl they're blinds, aren't they? But yeah. they're very thick ones. So right, in the lounge. we are in the living room. Dimensions 4 metres 98 by 3 metres 52. So I can see two radiators. Two absolutely beautiful cuddle chairs. This is how I would have my lounge. I think I love it so much. Our lounge. I'll choose to forget that little comment. There you go. I love the furniture very much. I think it's, it's really, really nice. I, mm, Show yeah. the viewers the beautiful light fittings. Pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Kind of chandelier-esque. Oh, wow. Right, so we're at the rear of the house. Let me push this door to. Just take a look at this. This is epic, isn't it? It is. It's wide as well. Wow. So you've got family area at that end. Dining in the middle. Humongous kitchen at that end. Let me look for some dimensions. Kitchen and dining. This room in length is just over the nine metres and three metres 94 in width. It's tremendous. So they've got the family area at this end. Your dining could be flexible. You could have your dining table here. You could have your sofa in the middle. You could have a corner sofa. So many different different configurations and uses for this room it's just fantastic you've got a window there to the rear garden french doors here in the middle and then another window there by the uh, by the sink i don't think i've ever seen a game of chess with licorice all sorts they're drafts <laughs> i know i know Lots and lots of cupboard space. Now, obviously, this is a show home, so some of what you see may well be an upgrade. It's always best to check. So much space, it's so sleek, this kitchen. Yeah, integrated dishwasher. Oh, more cupboards. Oh, we have got a utility as well, so we'll go through there in a minute. Lovely big drawers with soft clothes. You've got this absolutely epic gas hob with six burners. I love it. I've seen it a few times now, but I really, really like that. Because sometimes four isn't enough. Yeah. You know, you might have extra bits that you want to do. 
your bread sauce or whatever, and you just need another little ring to do it. So, fantastic pan drawers. More and more cupboard space. Room for everything, actually, isn't there here? Let me just take a look over this. One and a half bowl sink. But then you've got this bank of units on this side as well. With So you've got a big cupboard there. I mean, you can configure them any way you want, really. What I've seen in some of these before is that some people have their vacuum cleaner in there and their broom and their mop and what have you with storage above. You've got your oven and grill. All really accessible. And then your fridge and freezer at that end. But again, I'm sure there's some negotiation about how your kitchen is configured to suit you, the buyers. So through here... If you want to pop through first, we've got the uh, utility. Which actually, the units go right the way around. So in here we've got the RCD box there. Yeah. And we've got an outside yeah. door. The door to the rear garden. Yeah. <laughs> inside the hall, yeah. Yeah, it's on the um, side. Yeah, boiler. Yeah, boiler there. I don't wonder. So you've actually got space under the counter for two, yeah. for two appliances. If you wanted two appliances, you could have a washer and separate dryer. But there's actually more units around there. Spacious and four sockets too. Yeah. Always good to have a sink in a utility, yeah. particularly if you've got a doggy. But, you know, you could have your airer, your washing basket, yeah. all the clutter in here. Shut the door. I think this is a fantastic room. Okay? Okay. Right, so we're going back this way then, into the hall. So you can actually go all the way around. We've got downstairs cloakroom. There you go. So it's tucked away under the stairs. They just don't don't scrimp on the cloakroom space, no, do they? It certainly is a good size. You've got a cupboard here yeah. under the stairs. Yep, that's got the modem in, etc. and the usual yep. plugs. So, we will take a look up at the first floor. So, upstairs. Okay, first floor then. Right. It's a big landing, isn't it? Big C-shaped landing. I think... It's epic, with the loft access as well, just up there. I think... I think if we start in there, Steve, that is bedroom four. Okay. Bedroom four, good size double bedroom, three meters sixty six by three meters twenty three. Ah, it looks like it's got a shared ensuite with ah. the, the other room, which is a good little. Yeah, but a really substantial double bedroom. Yeah. You've got plenty of room there at the size of the bed. You could have the bed this yeah, way. Yeah, so you've got a bit of a choice about where you have it. You can fit a much bigger bed. Yeah, there's room for wardrobes, desks, you name it. It'll all go in here, no bother. Right, yeah, so we've got the shared ensuite. I like this configuration. Yeah. So we just solitary wear as well, sink and basin, yeah. towel rail. Good size shower there. It's a big well. shower again, yeah. isn't it? No squimping with this. Right, so we've come through. So we're at the front of the house now, over the study, and this is bedroom two. Yeah. Lovely, good at a light. Light it is the yeah. windows. Because the windows are so big. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? But they haven't actually got any detailing on them, have they? No. Either. So it's they're quite big, and the lights uninterrupted. Yeah. And they're white on the inside. Yeah. But they're actually a very charcoal <laughs> yeah. graphite grey on the outside, which is really yeah. nice and very very contemporary. So in here they've got a double bed. You could fit a much bigger bed in if you wanted. They've got a dressing table on this side. You could have your wardrobe. You could have your TV on the wall. A really good sized bedroom. We're not disappointed, are we, Mr. No. Hardwin, at all? Plenty of room at the end of the bed as well. If we pop this way, back around the landing, so we've actually come full circle yeah. through the ensuite. This landing is 
huge. This is bedroom four. It is. So we've got a cupboard over there, Emma. Ah, okay. And it is? A cupboard. Just a cupboard. That's cool, pretty good. But you could have a hanging rail in there, you could have shelves. Dimensions for this room are 3 meters 66 by 3 meters 23. Again, another really yeah. good size double. Plenty of room for additional furniture. Nice light fitting yeah. as well. So we've got the main bathroom. So it's kind of central to yeah. the room of the house, isn't it? So you've got a bath and a shower, along with a basin and a, and a WC. The towel rail and a sort of a smaller shower cubicle there, but just yeah. the job. But still, how yeah. fantastic to have yeah. a shower and a bath in your main bathroom, yeah. because obviously there is a shower in the ensuite. And we haven't even got to the master bedroom yet. So we've got a door here. That's your cylinder, yeah. but actually there is some space yeah. there as well. Well, you could put a small unit in it, couldn't you? You could, or you could fit your vacuum in yeah. there. So this is the long landing. A lovely banister there. Yeah. And you've got a window here, so you can just take a look up the street. Right, last but not least, bedroom one. So this Ooh, is your master nice. bedroom. Right, dimensions, just over the four metres by three metres fifty-two. Gosh, where do we start? So you've got... Well, let's start, I've, I've got sliding patio doors there. Oh. Let's go ahead and have a little look. So it's a little bit windy, so you might get a bit of wind noise here, but this is the little balcony that you've got, so it's nice just to be able to sta stand outside. I'm not going to spend too long, but you can see the street scene here. Very nice indeed. Let's go back in, because you might not be able to hear me because of the wind. And the road sweepers. Yeah, but that's <laughs> quite nice, isn't it? Just a nice yeah. little detail, isn't it? It is nice, and the balcony actually yeah. comes... Yeah. So it's actually outside of the window here as well. I mean, you could get a little chair there, a little chair there, sit and have a read. Just take your coffee out and see what's going on yeah. inside. Yeah. Or you could just have pots. Yeah. Very nice. Nice, lovely chrome rail around it as well. Yeah. So what have we got in here then? We've got, I would say that's a king size bed. You could fit a much bigger bed yeah. in. Yeah. You've got plenty of room for additional furniture. You've got a built in wardrobe here. But plenty of room for additional wardrobe but, space. Yes, room for other wardrobes, yeah. other furniture. You've got your various sockets and things for your TV, so that could go on the wall or on top of yeah. units there. Of course, I've got a thermostat in yeah. here as well. It's so useful bedroom, to have it yeah. in here, isn't it? Right, and you've got your own ensuite. So there's actually three showers in this yeah. house. And that's a big shower cubicle, that is. Yeah. Extra, we, we grade them small, large, extra large, and I put those in extra large. It's quite big. It is, isn't it? Isn't that super? And the usual suspects there. Yeah, so you've got your basin and your WC, towel rail. Again, some bits and pieces might be upgrades, so you need to speak to the sales negotiator and they'll, they'll fill you in. Really lovely. An ensuite with its own window. Yeah. Which is always nice. Well, I we aren't disappointed with this, are we? Look at the picture. That's like you and me, isn't it? Except they're on a boat. I mean, yeah, yeah. I like that. Look at that camera. Can mm -hmm. I try to carry that thing around? Yeah, that's pretty Look, heavy. look, count this. I'm not imagining that there's three road there sweepers are there. three road sweepers going around. Oh, well, it's a bit, it, you know, it's... But it's got the cleanest street that it we've has seen actually, this week. I, I have to yeah. think it's a tidy, tidy site, isn't it? Yeah. But it'll be a beautiful site once it's finished. Moving me around. Yes. Yeah. Get, get you in position. Right, so this is the four bedroom main by St. Modwin Homes. Yeah. What a beautiful house. Lovely. It looks yeah. great from the outside. Absolutely it's epic. fantastic in there. It's yeah. loads and loads and loads of space, loads of light. What more could you want from a house? It's very nice. And we're in Come and take a look. beautiful location just outside Utoxeter. Yes. Right, I will put all the information about this house, all the details, all the spec, everything you need to know will be in the description box down below. There will also be a link on there back to St Modwin's own website and to this development so that you can contact them directly about prices, about availability, what's on offer, etc. 
and and also to arrange to come and have a look because that's the main thing isn't it i mean if you want to look at other st modwin houses that we've got take a look on our website yeah. www.showhomesonline.com click the directory button and that will take you to the list and you'll see the st modwin logo there click on that yeah. or alternatively go to the st modwin homes website yes they're all on there yes anyway we have more houses to see so we will catch you on our next video thanks for watching Bye for now.